Hello beautiful cancers! I'm so happy to see you on my channel and uh, we have a spread for you for the month of June and um, these are very interesting energies and I looked at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month and the end of the month and I feel like in the beginning of the month you'll need to exercise some patience in regards to your plans your wishes, your desires, something that you've been wanting to achieve for so long, something that you've been wanting to receive for so long. And I feel like this is somehow related to material things, maybe some raise, some uh, payment or some reward that you've been waiting for. And we have a card patience. It says that You've planted the seeds for something, you've worked for something. The only thing you have left to do in this situation is be patient and wait for this to come to fruition because the card that um, supports the patient is fulfillment of wishes because, and it tells me that whatever it is that you've been wishing for, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, it's going to come. But in the beginning of June, you should remember to be patient and then you'll see how things are slowly turning up in your life, how all that you wished for is coming um, to fruition and then you will see that your wishes are being fulfilled during the month of June. By the middle of the month I have a sense that you'll have to exercise some moderns in regards to some passions in your life. And it may be connected to your hobby, something that you do for fun, um, something that you enjoy to do, some creativity. Uh, you, or maybe for some of you it relates to relationship and the passions that are running high in this relationship. I feel like your fire, um, the fire in your heart burns for someone so strongly and you feel so much passion, so much love, so much desire. But in the middle of June, you'll need to put it on pause, put this feeling of um, infatuation, I would even say, on pause and sacrifice this uh, desire, this passion in order to achieve whatever it is that you've been waiting for. It's like you have to get a little bit cool down in your head, get more in your head than in your body, in your wishes, desires, and uh, make sure that you are taking on all the necessary steps to come to the fulfillment of your wishes, because sometimes you get distracted by whatever makes you passionate so much that you can't really, you can really focus on everyday things and you fall behind a little bit. So you'll have to put a hold on this passionate moment. Just just for the middle of June, it would be like 10 days, not more. And then by the end of June, I feel like your soul really asks for some rest and rejuvenation and relaxation. And um, just feeling more calm. Feeling like you belong to this whole earth, this whole um universe like you're one with nature because recently cancers i feel like you've been having it rough it's like you've been trapped in worry fear uh sorrow grief it's like you've been so worried and you feel like you you can't really get out of the situation that you are stuck in and something was really putting you down and something was making you feel hopeless and now by the end of June, at the end of June, in the last days of June, you feel like you found a new place of calm. You found a new newborn peace in you. And uh, what will really help with that is I feel like I hear nature. You will have to go out. You will, maybe you need to go camping. Maybe you just need to go barefoot, walk barefoot on the grass. Maybe hug some trees. Maybe just go to the park or I hope it's loud in your country because with everything that's going on and uh, maybe go to the beach just sit with yourself sit with nature listen to the birds chirping listen to the waves of the ocean or water if it's near you and realize that whatever you've been um, holding on to in your mind all of the 
mm, feeling of entrapment that you've been trapped it's all in your head it's all it's not real you can change the situation any second literally you can change it but for that you need to realize um, you need to get to the state of peace and calm and um, rejuvenation of your soul you'll feel so much better about something that you've been worried about for previous months you'll feel so much better by, by the end of June and uh, you will feel like you finally reached that peace and harmony and balance within yourself let's ask for an oracle advice for you cancers in regards to June what do you have to know about June 2020? What is the advice for cancers for June? And we have a beautiful card, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. And I feel like in June, you'll have to uh, transfer your attention from everything that you've been mentally focused on, all of the fears, all of the worries, and focus on your love, focus on your heart, focus on your heart space and everything that's happening there. And uh, focus on the people around you, on love you have for others and on love you receive from others and uh, and this way you will achieve this peace and hope and rejuvenation in your soul take a chance on love and maybe for some of you you will meet someone special in the month of June and um, this card tells me don't be scared don't fear this person don't fear the situation this encounter take a chance on love and uh, it will bring you some new opportunities and happiness and joy and very beautiful feelings. Let's ask for another advice for you from another oracle deck. Advice for cancers in June 2020. What do you have to know? interesting and we have a card self-sabotage it says when you learn to get out of your own way there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals it's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans yeah and I feel like it relates somehow to the patience that you have to that you have to be um, that you have to exercise in the beginning of June and sacrifice that you're going to make because it's like you've been sabotaging yourself and your goals and it's like something was straying you away from your goals and from things you've been trying to achieve in your life and um, you've been telling yourself no i can't do this no i'm not never going to receive whatever it is i was wishing for no i'm not worthy of it i didn't deserve it no i'm not gonna get this no i don't deserve this relationship no i'm not good enough for this person i'm not good enough for this job no 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 there's been a lot of self-sabotage from you and i feel like you should let go of all of that and realize your own value the passion in your soul the strength of your soul how much you can do in this life for yourself and for others because cancers you are the most caring love and nurturing empathetic and compassionate people and people will always need you around because you have this amazing warm and soft energy about you i absolutely love cancer people you are just one of my favorites and uh stop self-sabotaging yourself just know that you deserve everything there'll need to be just a little bit of patience on your part and whatever it is you're trying to get whatever, whether it's a new job whether it's a um, new relationship some achievement some reward you'll get there as long as you believe in yourself and don't see yourself as a failure or someone not deserving 
So yeah, this is an interesting month for you Cancers and I hope you like this reading. If you did, please subscribe or put a like button. I always appreciate it and I'll see you in the new readings. Bye bye.